Did you know there are now free ways to watch the TV? To catch all of our programming 24-7, just hook up an HDTV antenna to your flat screen. On your remote, click on Menu and then scan for channels. Within moments, you'll get Via TV on KAXT Channel 1.3 and 80 other channels for free. If you have Comcast On Demand, head to the Get Local section and then to Local TV Stations, where you'll find a variety of programming from Via TV under the KAXT One tab. And if you like programming on the go, download the Mundu TV app for your smartphone tablet or PC and the TV is front and center right at your fingertips three ways to watch the TV all day every day 24 7 this week the TV spotlight is on India's Independence Day first we take you to AT&T Park home of the San Francisco Giants for the India Heritage Day and later a sneak peek on what to expect at the Festival of India. All this coming up next on the TV Spotlight. Local leaders and community members got together to celebrate India's 66th Independence Day. The afternoon began with some festivities right by the historic Willie May statue. We spoke to the chairman of FIANC, Anil Yadav, who wanted to use sports as a way to connect Indian culture with mainstream America. Well, you know, about a few years back, uh, you know, we were thinking about doing something different than normally that we do, parades and everything else, which is also a great way of doing things. But we wanted to connect more with the mainstream community. So we did not think any better way then really connect with the uh, like sports where it's kind of ties with the cricket and the baseball and bringing third generation people to be part of this kind of uh, event platform because we kind of having them they're distancing more and more so we thought this would be a great way of not only using this platform to educate our heritage our culture to the mainstream people also to be part of it more president rajiv avasti credits the organization being a local Federation of Indo-American Association as an approved body, we had a tie-up with, uh, uh, with their blessings and the Giants uh, to do a local um, event over here. And uh, the reasoning behind that was very simple, that uh, how do we bring the community together and also showcase our Indian culture. And it's especially important for parents. We both have two kids each and my nieces are here today. Um, I've got a high schooler and a middle schooler, and uh, Gulshan has the same, so we're similar ages. They're big fans of the Giants being born and brought up in this country, so they really relate with this uh, baseball game, and being that they are Indian uh, culture, heritage, or roots, uh, I think it's the best, brings out the best of both the worlds for both the kids, or for all our kids. Council General of India and Partha Sarthi stopped by to support the efforts. It's a great, great place to come, and it's a great day to come. And the wonderful thing is, today you can see the Indian community as part of the mainstream community everywhere. Everywhere. And it's a great day. California State Assembly has passed a resolution recognizing India's independence and urging everybody to celebrate it. It's a great day. Everybody enjoy it. Warmest greetings from me. The 20th Annual Festival of India announced its Grand Marshal at a press conference earlier this weekend. Former Mr. India and actor Sonu Sood is set to take stage at the India Independence Day Parade in Fremont. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, you know, this is, uh, I'm, I'm really excited to actually, uh, just not attend it, but to look what, what happens and, you know, all the effort that, you know, you all guys put together to bring the, the, the all the cultures together on the same platform. I think it's, it's huge. Convener Dr. Ramesh Jopra says it's time for the next generation to take charge. Uh, the, the theme of the whole thing is that we are proud to, of our roots, our heritage. We have come here all the way uh, from India, 10,000 miles away, and we want to keep some of the good parts of our, our cultures, not only for ourselves, who are not born in India like us, and who have never been exposed to our culture, Indian culture, and our heritage. Mayor Gus Morrison calls the festival the hallmark of summer for Fremont. So I'm, uh, I'm pleased to be here to celebrate one more year of the Festival of India. Uh, it's been a hallmark of our summer. 
uh, each year. Uh, it transforms the area around a, a Paseo Padre and, and Wallet into a, into a sea of bright colors and exciting uh, people having fun. And besides having fun, there's the, the things it does back to the community. You're doing the health fair again this year, I yes. believe, and uh, provides health screening for people who might not be able to get it otherwise. And it really comes together to celebrate their heritage. So for one weekend each year, everybody's Indian in Fremont. That's right. The 20th Annual Festival of India will be held in Fremont on August 18th and 19th and promises to be bigger and better than last year. Vice Mayor Anuna Rajan claims it won't just be a festival of India. I've said this over and over again to Dr. Jabra and his team that this is not just a festival of India, it is the festival of Fremont. That's right. After working in several regional and Bollywood films, Sood says he's looking forward to doing a film in his native tongue, Punjabi. Um, you know, it's surprising that I've done um, films in almost all the languages, but I haven't done a film in Punjabi, also, <laughs> <laughs> which is my mother tongue. And that's a big complaint that I always have. You know, I recently was in Canada uh, for the PIFA Awards, which is a uh, Punjabi, first uh, Punjabi Academy Awards. And all the producers and directors, they said, when is your next Punjabi film? So I'm, I'm, I'm listening to a couple of scripts and uh, hopefully if I find one, so I think next should be a Punjabi one. In San Jose, City Council member Ash Kalra hosted a flag raising ceremony. Well, you know, we had the Festival of India in Fremont uh, this weekend, and this is the opening ceremony for that. So we certainly have a great opportunity to continue uh, to celebrate over the weekend and have the parade. During the course of the year, you know, I, I really work a lot with the Indian community, go to a lot of Indian events. We do Diwali celebrations and Holi celebrations. You know, the Bay Area is just full of them. And I think it's really important now we're seeing a, a lot of people outside the Indian community start to come to them. The last This past year at the Holi celebrations, it seemed like almost a quarter of the crowd was, was not Indian American, which is fantastic. We want to share who we are, and this event today and others like it are a way of doing that. The TV is a proud sponsor of the festival and will be on site, so stop by booth 119 to say hello. That's all for now. Don't forget to tune in for more this Saturday, 6 p.m. on The TV Spotlight.